Well, biofuel leaders come together for the 11th Annual American Coalition for Ethanol Annual DC Fly-In. It's focusing on a number of challenges and opportunities within the industry. And joining us now is ACE CEO Brian Jennings. Brian, as always, thanks for taking the time to chat with us today. First of all, let's start with an update on this week's event and some of the main topics that have been up for discussion. Sure, Janet. We were really focusing on three primary topics during our meetings on Capitol Hill, but also with administration officials from the Department of Agriculture and, of course, EPA. Number one, we need to push this E15 rulemaking past the finish line. We are less than two months away from the June 1st summer driving season. It's critically important that EPA get the work done to finalize this rule so retailers can offer that fuel year round. Number two, we were really trying to raise the volume uh, and highlight our concerns about EPA's continued abuse of the small refinery exemption provision of the renewable fuel standard. We're very worried, Janet, that any upside potential of E15 sales year round will be wiped out, will be undermined if these small refinery exemptions continue to be allowed. And the final topic we talked about, because it is, it is back on the agenda in Congress, particularly in the House, is just some basic education on the role that farmers and ethanol producers can play in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. We have a positive story to tell when it comes to biofuels and the climate, and we, we began that educational effort on the Hill. Brian, referring back to the E15 uh, summer driving season rule, they set a date of June 1st. Do you think they have the chance to meet that? You know, I do. I I'm encouraged by what we heard from the EPA official that we met with. We also recognize that this is a priority of the White House, and so I think the White House is keeping a very careful eye on EPA. The concern I may have about that is that it would represent a land speed record if EPA gets this done in time. And this rulemaking isn't just about E15. There are some very controversial reforms that EPA is proposing to the Renewable Fuel Standard RIN program, and that has me concerned. Uh, Brian, you also mentioned, of course, the, the waivers that EPA has granted on the RFS. Uh, do you think that there's any kind of concession? I know there's some lawsuits in the mix here. There are a couple of things I think we've got to do to address that. One, as you mentioned, Janet, we've got some lawsuits. And so if we have to take this to court and ultimately win it in court, that's what we'll do. But I think political pressure can be brought to bear from members of Congress and the White House to get newly minted Administrator Wheeler to take a different approach than his predecessor, Scott Pruitt, did. And so we're going to continue to turn on that political pressure as well. All right, Brian. Well, as always, thank you very much for taking the time to join us. We appreciate it. American Coalition for Ethanol CEO Brian Jennings joining us from our Washington, D.C. News Bureau.